from Dye's Den and welcome to another July video. This week I'm going to show how I made this card. Now they're both exactly the same except this one I have put a magnet in it. This one I did a belly band. So we're going to do the belly band one today and I just think it's a beautiful card. So let me show you this one. I did this one for my colour creation and it's a little shopping bag inside. Isn't that gorgeous? Inside you can put your gift card if you've got one or you could also put some money in it if you wanted let's pull that out so i can pop it in now this card i made this one with my shopping bag here really quite big and i didn't like it it was too big so when i redid it which is the one of this one with the belly band on it i actually made the shopping bag a little bit smaller and I think it looks just that much, a little bit better. And the gift card still fits in there gorgeously. So this is what we're going to make today. All right. One like this one with the belly band. So I'm going to show you how to make that. As I say, if you wanted to do it with magnets, that's fine. I personally, I think it was a little bit bulkier. Um, I like the belly band. I like the fact that it goes on nicely well it does this is quite a tight one i think <laughs> move there we go there we go got it on so this is one we're going to make today like this and i'm using some all retired products again so i'm going to be using this the same words so i'm going to be using wishing a lovely birthday to you and sometimes something wonderful happens to someone who absolutely deserves every good thing now they're the only things i'm going to be using out of there i'm going to use these um uh, pearls today and i'm also going to be using which i was sad to see go because i love this color mint macaron so i'm going to do it in the same colors here but my dsp is going to be different color so I have used circles and the circles come from the I think it's the I think it's the stylish shapes let me have a look I've got two lots here I don't know why I've got two lots sitting here but I have no, this one and this set is actually current so I used these three so not the largest one the next one down the next one from that and then the last one from my front of my card like this so that's what I used and they are still available they are current as of July 2023 they are still current okay so let me pop them on one side because I've already cut all them out like me to get my directions here so I can tell you all the sizes let me pop them on one side and we'll go through this so here we have all our bits and this is our main card and this is the main card which is measures nine and one eighth by five and seven eighths of an inch then for my layers for my left hand side i need a piece that measures five and five eighths by two and three quarters and then my designer series paper which i'm going to use this lovely dotty side is going to be Oh, five and three eighths by two and a half for my left right hand side i need two pieces because i need one for the inside and one for the out um let me show you on this one um because i did it on both of these this piece on that side and that side there so they are both of these are one and three quarters by five and five eighths and one and a half by five and three eighths now for on the opposite side on the inside I put a little strip here just because I thought this side was plain and I wanted to do that so I'm doing that again and this piece is one inch by five and five eighths and three quarters of an inch by five and three eighths for the front I did these three um, circles so I just got them out of pieces of scrap that I've got here so you can see that that came out of a piece that was will come out of a piece that is uh two and three quarters by two and three quarters this one would come out of a piece that is two and a 
two and a quarter by two and two and a quarter and this piece will come out of a piece that is two and seven uh, two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths so that tells you what they are so i can pop them in the bin okay my insert is um i've got to find it on here now <laughs> i can't even see it on here oh here it is it's um five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and then five and three eighths by three and five eighths you will also need for your belly band a piece that is one inch by nine inches long and two bits of ribbon for your handles which measure about six inches long and then for the bag itself you need another piece of card um, designer series paper but it has to be a thinnish one not the really thick ones so if you've got single sided or you know some of them are a little bit thinner than others like this one is a thinnish one so it needs to be nine and a half by four inches okay so we're going to start with the card first so let's pop all them over there let's move that card out of the way and we'll bring in our scoreboard and we're going to score our main card on the long side with the small end of our thing we're going to score this at, I've got yuck on my fingers today, yuck, three inches and seven and one eighth of an inch. So we get that gatefold, but it's off-centered gatefold. So we're going to fold both of those inwardly. So just making sure that it's nice and even on the sides as well as along this one and this one here as well okay so and as you can see I can see that that's not quite coming together nicely at the bottom there so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to bring in my board my score board my other board whatever, and I'm just going to cut off just that tiny bit on the bottom there because obviously when I cut it along the bottom or the top it wasn't quite square so I've just checked that out now it's nice and even and that's how easy it is to fix up things and it's just the tiniest little bit that you're not even going to notice so we're going to start by putting all our layers on so we're going to pop our larger layer of our left hand layer which is oh, come out of their pin my largest layer is hang on two and three quarters by five and five eighths with my DSP being two and a half by five and three eighths so we're going to pop that on the outside I'm laying that flat like that because I just find it easier for me to be able to see this line here, this score line, and make sure that I've got that square. So that's that side. Then our other pieces, which we've got two the same, one for the inside and one for the outside, which are one and three quarters by five and five eighths. And that means the DSP is one and a half by five and three eighths. So we're going to do both of those together. Okay, so we're going to pop one on the inside, one on the outside here. Just making sure if you are using a directional paper that your paper is in the portrait orientation as so I'm using dots and you can't see that there's a, a specific way the dots are going I didn't have to worry about that thank goodness <clears throat> so I'm going to pop that one on this side here 
Now I've got my little piece that I'm going to pop on this side here, which is the one inch by five and five eighths and three quarters of an inch by five and three eighths. This is an optional piece and I will put optional next, well if I've got room when I'm writing it, I will put optional. But it is, it just saves that side from looking bare. So when we pop this one on, what we're going to do is we are going to pop it so that you get the same amount of around the three sides. Once you've done that, that's all done. Let's pop that on one side. Let's do our inside piece of stamping. And then we can pop this layer in. This is one of them cards where it's better to do that and then do the, the bag itself afterwards. So let's pop this on here. Great. I might stamp this piece while that's just dry in a second at the same time so that it's got time to dry. Beautiful. Just like a bought one, as my mum would always say. Okay, so we've done that. So we'll glue these two pieces together and glue this to the inside of the card. the inside on this middle section now I'm going to pop my pin in the glue because we're going to be doing some more scoring then there we go not going in very well at the moment okie dokie so I pop that piece on the inside of the card I'm going to push down on the outside so it goes down nicely and that's the main card done. So what we're going to do next is we're going to make our little bag. So I'm going to use my bag. I've got some double-sided tape here. Not a real lot on that roll, but I've got more if I need it. And we're going to bring in our scoreboard again. And this time we're going to score this. Now I need my other piece of paper up here so I can see. We're going to score our bag on the short side first. And we're going to use the thick went bang the thick ball this time so we're going to score this at the one inch mark and the three and a half inch mark now the three and a half inch mark is this half inch piece at the bottom is the bottom of the bag so we're going to turn this onto the long side and we're going to score this at three and a half inches, four inches, four and a half inches, eight inches, eight and a half, and nine inches. Oops. So that was one and three and a half, and then three and a half, four and a half, five, uh, three and a half, four, four and a half, eight, eight and a half, and nine. Okie dokie. So once we've done that, we are going to actually fold and burnish all these score lines because it just makes it easier for our cutting if we've folded and burnished them so we can see where we're going because on designer series paper, it's always harder to see them. When we come to our pieces that go across this way, we're going to do them, we've got the three and a half inch mark, so we're going to put that one in, so making sure that we get a mountain fold. Then we're going to put the other one, next one along at the four inch mark at a valley fold, and then our four, four inch mark, sorry, four and a half inch mark, is going to be our mountain fold. 
okay so we're looking like this and then when we come to the other end we're going to do the same so we can turn it around and we're going to go mountain valley mountain so we know we've got an extra one on that side and you think oh okay that's a bit funny you've got two in the middle and you've got three on this side that's so we can glue the thing together like so which will go together like this but before we get to that we have to do a little bit of cutting so we need this one inch half inch mark at the bottom and we're going to cut up from the three and a half inch mark and the four and a half inch mark and we're going to cut this piece here completely out like so all right so we've got that piece marked out and then on this end we're going to cut up at the eight inch mark and we're going to cut all of those other marks all the way out like so now we're going to do exactly the same at the top so we're going to cut along there to the eight inch mark and cut that piece away and then we're going to cut this piece away in the middle here so cut down there and there and if we pop that back we can see where we're going and we can cut that off like so i'll just pop them in the bin and i'll lay that down so you can have a look so this is our bottom because it's the half inch end this is the top because it's a one inch end and we've cut away so that we've got just those those pieces there in the middle with nothing in there the same as at this end here but we're now just going to just just on this very end one just going to put that just a tiny little notch out so now we're going to turn this uh going to put our double-sided tape onto the bottom one inch mark uh, half inch mark along there and along there like so whoops get off my finger run them down nice and tight and we're going to do one on this piece here now if you want to cut it you can cut it but i'm just breaking it off and pop that down tight then we're going to turn it over so that the inside is showing and we're going to pop a piece along the top here and the top of the bag on this side as well all right well let's pop them down nice and tight as well okay so i'm going to mark this on the inside of my bag and i'm going to mark in from this score line here you're going to mark down just a half an inch pencil works better than a pokey tool just a half an inch so i can see that in this one i can see that those lines there give me my half an inch mark so i'm going to pop a line across there like so so that i can just see that when i'm going where i'm going you're not going to see them because this is going to fold down here so you won't see it. that little bit in the middle there i'm going to actually just use my pencil and get that out of the way all right get out of the way all right so now we're going to mark in from that edge this score line one inch and put a mark and then from the other end we're going to do exactly the same again and put a mark and we're going to do the same on this one put a mark and then the same from this end and put a mark now for me i'm going to use my proper dial but if you've got a hole punch that's fine if you don't you can use your pokey tool and a mat to do it on i'm going to do mine this way i'm going to actually um fold this in like it should be whoops oh come on get in there there we go right and then i'm going to turn turn oh, why don't i just do it that way turn that in like so 
and then with my one eighth of an inch which is this one here it does say yeah one eighth of an inch just there it says it I'm going to punch a hole well I am when I open it oh there we go Ooh. now because I've actually put them together I'm going to pop that in there and I am if I turn it up the right way and line that up so that I can actually see that mark inside can you see in there I can start see inside there that mark in there is where my hole punch is going to go so I can then use my pokey tool just to get that a piece out so I can see where I'm going that's the only part I don't like about these pokey tools any of them so that I know that that's now lined up nicely okay and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side so I'm going to move this one over here and I'm going to squish that one down and out of the way. It's not going to be anywhere near that. That way I can then line this one up and poke another, do another hole. The same. Okay. Once I've done that, as you can see, that looks all right on there. And they are even on the other side. And we're going to bring in our two pieces of ribbon. Here, and we're going to pop them through the holes that we've made from the front to the back now if you wanted to use string you know like it's a string bag so you could use a bit of string if you wanted to you know jute whatever you want to call it now I'm bringing that up fairly high and for that I'm just now going to pop another bit of this tape over the top now you could use just normal sticky tape but I don't have any normal sticky tape here just to hold that down now that's going to be just held down we're not even going to take the top we can take that tape off if we want to but we don't need to if we don't want to and we're going to do exactly the same on this one here the same gonna bring that through come on get in there and then once we've done that, we we'll bring it back so you can see them nice and evenly. And we know that it's not going to be below that, so that's going to be covered up. So once we've done that, we'll pop another bit of tape across them bits. If you want the extra security of, of um, making sure that it sticks down, oh my goodness, my sleeves get in the way. We can actually lift these bits up, lift this one up. And lay that one down over the top so you've got all that extra help in there to keep those pieces inside but it's not necessary if you don't want to and as I say you don't need to then worry about the draw the lines that you've drawn with your pencil because you're not going to even see them okay so we've done that bit we're now going to pop this over onto this one now you can't do it the other way around unfortunately because you can't um, get it underneath that piece so I'm going to bring that over bring this one over and line this up so that it's lined up nicely there top and bottom with this one out of the way this one will come back over to there and line up with that score line nicely so we can pop that one in so all right so we know that we've got our bag shape like so and we're just going to give that a nice burnish down on those sides all right and we're going to pop that into our bag into our card so it's going to go in the card just about there so we, we don't want it right on that line but we want it as close as possible so we're going to pull one side off let's move them out of the way i don't want all that and we're going to just eyeball it in between those two if you wanted to draw it in there so you can up to that line but not over it so it's as close as possible but not over the line and not buttered right up against it once you're happy with where it is push it down just give it a thing down going to pull the other side of the double sided tape off this is the only part you really need to do it with double sided tape might have a bit that's over to that pull this edge over 
give that a good squish down like so so that when you open it up the bag opens up like so isn't that gorgeous oh isn't that just so fantastic so i'm putting my card in there like that and i'm closing my bag i can turn my handles out of the way a little bit bring that over now it's a little bit bulky but not too bulky so that's why we need to not do our band belly band beforehand so we're going to bring our belly band around our card and we're going to just bring it around nicely but not too tightly because we don't want it to be so tight that you can't move if you do it too tightly it's not going to slide so once you're happy with that you can then put a little bit of glue down this side excuse me i'm talking with a pin in my mouth And bring that across so that we can pop that down nice and tight then making sure that it does move up and down without being too tight which i have done again haven't i look there we go oh my goodness there we go look there we go it's just beautiful we don't want it too tight because if it's too tight it doesn't work all right so we're going to then pop this one onto the white one with our saying on it we're going to pop onto the our green one here and then my green one i'm going to pop up on a couple of dimensions dimensionals i'm sorry i know i say it all the time they are dimensionals not dimensions And we're going to pop that one onto this, this one so it sits up. I'm going to glue that to the centre of the card. So I'm just going to pop some glue about an inch round like so. Pop my saying on top of it. Give that a few seconds to hold. Let me pop the pin in there. Glue. And I'm going to cut five of these off one two three four five in one go so these are all stuck together believe it or not this is a strange set i've never had any like this before and then i'm going to just pop them around because i can turn them at the same time as i'm putting them on i pop them on there like that how gorgeous is that there's my three cards if you'd like the written tutorial for this card um, and it's going to, be, going to be called a, let me move my thing out of the way so I can see, a pop-up gift bag card. So if you'd like a copy of this written tutorial for this card, see how much nicer that runs off now, just head down to Do I Stand for Stampin' Crafting and Tutorials. The link is at the bottom. And you will find I have a written tutorial for this card. And I love it. And it's you've enjoyed today's card please just leave me a thumbs up subscribe if you'd love i'd love you to subscribe the more people that subscribe the more projects i can bring to you and i just think it's up there gorgeous i love the way it's turned out it's oh, i don't know i don't know how else to explain it what a lovely way to give somebody a gift card or you could actually put in there a nice little charm bracelet as long as it was like fairly thin you know a very delicate one you could put a bracelet in there engagement ring if it's for some husband's or well it wouldn't be your husband yet but your partner wishes to get engaged oh, i reckon you could fit a great engagement ring in there not the case obviously but just the ring if you've enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment i do answer everybody if you'd like to join my my um group you're welcome to if you'd like to join my team as a demonstrator or you're welcome to do that just contact me and i will let you know what what is involved in how to go about doing that if you'd like to purchase any of these products please let me know and i will um put, get you onto them so you know what how to purchase them and i will see you again next week bye for now